everybody, it's your boy Dev Paul. We back and we live for episode 17. You know, the previous episode, on episode 16, we had Paul Johnson, the creator of Crime Scene Productions, and also, thank God, our freestyle. We had the pleasure on um, basically talking about what made him become an entrepreneur, who inspired him to become a photographer, also a media production manager, and also a manager in the rap game. You know, we have a lot of different topics uh, I need to talk about. We covered Nipsey Hussle murder in episode 15. Um, episode 17, we're going to speak to the world that actually transpired today in Los Angeles Staples Center. We're going to speak on the remarks from Kodak Black, old heads having to check him. And also, we're going to speak on CMOS, you know. We have a special guest in the building, so we're going to get straight into it. Um, the Nipsey Hussle Memorial took place today, April 11th, and um, it actually had me emotional in a sense. Not like, uh, I'm about to cry, you know, it was just like, you know, some of the heartfelt words from his family members, you know, really like hit hit me different. You know, it kind of rem- um, reminded me when uh, I was at my uh, grandfather's memorial, you know, um, and I was emotional when I got on stage. So just to see other people emotional, um, you know, seeing their words or their last words towards that person, it just like bung back memories, you know. Um, for Nipsey Hussle to be murdered at 33 years old and for everything that he did in the community and across the world, it was just like, wow, we haven't seen anything like this since, you know, I actually haven't seen anything like this, but for the world, they haven't seen anything like this since like a Martin Luther King death or a big death, you know, like, and a lot of people don't understand, like, it's not just rap that he touched. He touched the whole business. He touched the whole community. He touched like poverty, like he touched like the streets, like in a whole different, you know, a whole different way that a lot of people can't imagine. You know, I didn't expect him to have you know, this big of a crowd noticed who he was. You know, a lot of people didn't know him for being a mainstream rapper. He was an underground rapper until he made a name for himself in the independent lane, like Wiz Khalifa and things of that sort, you know. But he was known more so as an entrepreneur for him being a crip and also for him, you know, just giving back to his community. You know, a lot of people can talk to talk, but they can't walk to walk. You know, a lot of people feel as though they are the leader, you know, and a lot of people, you know, the followers behind them, they look up to the leader, but he was leading by example. This man was having felons in his store, running his store, you know, and hiring them. You know, a lot of people not giving felons chances. This man bought a whole complex, you know, gave back to his community, giving people money in their pockets legally just to make change in their lives on top of maintaining his position in the rap game. You know, it just make you think that you still have sucker people Sucker, suck ass people out there, you feel me? That's the name of the game. You got crab in the barrels, you know. Um, I just feel as though everyone should learn from this, you know. The words that Lauren London said, the marathon continues at the end of the day. You know, a lot of people don't, didn't understand what the marathon meant, you know. He made it clear in his documentary uh, on YouTube and it's on World Star Hip Hop that the marathon applies to anyone who gave up or who basically was going through a struggle in life who didn't, who didn't give up actually, who didn't give up and basically was on pace of achieving what they needed to achieve despite the struggles and the tribulations and you know, the, the obstacles of life. You know, you still getting the job done, whether it be you rapping, whether it be entrepreneurship, whether it be sports, whether it be whatever, do you just applying it to yourself? You know, it's a checkerboard at the end of the day. You know, it's a, um, it's a race, so you need to go across that finish line, you know, with a smile on your face, indicating that you finished your job. You know, a lot of people just give up immediately because, you know, it's a wall in front of them. A lot of people just don't know how to get around things. You know, when they hit that wall, they just fall back and, you know, they don't know what to do. They're like crash dummies. He made it possible for other people to learn from his blueprint. Like I told you all in my last episode, the man, you know, was known as a gangbanger and then changed his life around. Main man was selling CDs and t-shirts and things across the street from the complex that he potentially bought, I mean, <clears throat> actually invested in. And all of a sudden, you know, he purchased the lease and he purchased the store, purchased the store and made it to a point where people are like, damn, yo, I don't just gotta chill at a spot. I can actually own this spot. You know, a lot of people, didn't have, how can I say, a lot of people didn't have anyone to show them the structure 
or the blueprint, you know. He said he learned from Master P. Master P is one of the rap legends that came out on some independent stuff and we created a label who went to the NBA as well. He came from the streets of Louisiana and he learned from that. He basically was doing a lot of research. So when I watched Nipsey Hussle brother Samuel get on stage and speak, he was breaking down, you know, basically saying what he had to say in regards to Nipsey Hussle. It just made me think of the time when uh, I had to say what I had to say um, in my grandfather memorial. You know, it's a tough moment where, you know, you just seen someone in you have to say something in, in regards to their life and what they meant to you. So, you know, it made me get emotional in a sense, like, wow, I see exactly where you're coming from. Like I said, Nipsey Hussle, you know, meant a lot to his community in LA. Not only was he a cripple, he was a leader. He was a, a businessman. And on top of that, you know, I didn't expect for him to have the outcome he had. You know, and that's the reality of it. For him to have his memorial service at the Staples Center where the Los Angeles Lakers play at, where the Los Angeles Clippers, where the LA Kings play at, all these um, sports teams play at. The last person I knew that had a, a memorial service there was Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson was known across the world. You feel I me? Mean? A lot of people didn't even know who Nipsey Hussle was. Nipsey Hussle was, um, you know, he was known um, as an underground artist. And he was known as one of the realest artists you know, because he gave back to his community. You know, I said that in episode 15, so I don't really want to keep touching on that. His mom was one of the strongest uh, people I witnessed um, speaking in regards to her son today at the memorial service. You know, she seemed like she was at peace. She also stated that her family was preparing for death. It was different, I never heard of that. Um, but, you know, I didn't hear it. Of, I didn't. I never heard of that in, the, in in regards of someone being healthy, you know, someone not being in the mix. You feel me? Like he was in the mix in Crenshaw and Slauson around his way, but he wasn't in the mix to the point where he was a target. You know, I wasn't around this guy, but I'm just going off of what, what the media was dishing out to us. You know, you didn't see him out, you know, on a negative, you know, negative end of light. <clears throat> you know, negative end of light. You never see him at the end. You never seen him on that negative side of the uh, stick. You never did. I know I never did. And it was one time he smacked someone, but it was to a point where someone pushed his man. So I guess he had the right to do that. But as regards to Lauren London, you know, his girlfriend or fiance, you know, she basically said the marathon continues. You know, the marathon basically applies to everyone for those that never gave up, for those that have something to achieve. You know, you just basically get through that struggle and you don't let anything stop you. You know, he was applying it to everyone, basically. Um, and I want to speak on Lauren London and Nipsey Hussle. But this Lauren London um, situation, you know, a lot of people couldn't wait to see what she had to say. Uh, she has to raise her child without, you know, her baby dad or her, her fiance or boyfriend, um, a young two-year-old. You know, um, they was private too. You know, I like the way they moved. They seemed like they was, you know, good, you know, soulmates and everything. And Kodak Black, I'm going to get on this Kodak Black. Kodak Black had a remark about Lauren London. Uh, he basically was saying, I'm going to say exactly what he was saying. He was like, shit. He was like, shit. Man, I'm going to give her about a year. Uh, you know, like, she's going to be doing all that crying and shit. But, like, just watch. Just watch. I'm going to be a better man. Like, I'm going to be the type of man where I'll be better for her. Like, to the point where I'm going to be doing all these different things. And she's going to be like, damn, you remind me of this. Like, what? Main man just got killed. And you talking about she, about to, she about to be a widow. And you saying this, yo? Like, what's up with you? I don't know what's going on. You know, you got OGs in the game like T.I. You got game. You got all these different people saying like, watch your mouth, man. This man just died. And now you have people disrespecting his woman, disrespecting his name after he get murdered by saying, yo, I'll be a better man or I'll be, come on, you don't do that. You definitely don't do that, especially for to, about who he is or who he is. You got T.I., he gonna do everything to keep his name alive. You got the game. You got all these people saying stuff and I just don't understand. I think uh, Kodak Black basically be saying anything just to stay relevant. He said something about Lil Wayne. He said something about a lot of different people, especially in defense, especially after the fact that a lot of people, the black people was in your defense when you was going against Ebro. I just don't get it. Like certain things, you know, we agree with 
certain things we like when your music, and then certain things we don't like, which is your antics. That's the truth. You know, I'm, I'm being honest with you. He don't care. He has a nonchalant attitude. He don't give a damn about what he said. He has no apology. He's not, he's not apologetic about what's going on and what's transpiring. And you're not having no respect. Like, that's the reality of it. But we about to get right into it. We have a special guest of the Dev Hall Show for episode 17. So we back. You know, I told you we have a special guest for episode 17 of the Dev Hall Show. So a lot of us, you know, um, you know, we hear about this Dr. Sebi guy. You know, a lot of people know about him. For some reason, a lot of people didn't know about him through um, before, but Nipsey Hussle brung it to our light, you know, with the 1985 trial, you know, he had went against. But never mind that. We have a special guest, D, also known as the CMOS Man. What's up, man? How you doing? What's going on? Hey, man, I'm going to get uh, right into it, man. Uh, we have you here because you know you sell CMOS. You know, you sell CMOS. <laughs> and uh, I basically just wanted to get everyone enlightened on what CMOS is and um, who you are. Well, um, I'm the CMOS man. You know, I started... <laughs> my, my first experience with CMOS was about two years ago. A cousin of mine who, who deal with CMOS, you know, he put me on to it. And it, it changed my life because... You know, I, I deal with weight issues, high blood pressure and stuff like that. So I tried it. I tried the CMOS and immediately I found like my, 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 my knees stopped bothering me. My blood pressure was down. And, and to this day, like my water retention is, is like it's gone. And just early I got a um, call from my cousin and told me, and he just tried it. Mm -hmm. He ordered more. He Before it ran out, he won it. Mm -hmm. And he said, listen. He walking better. Right. He said, "Cause my, my water retention is down." I say, he called me out the blue. Mm -hmm. But um, since then I've been getting it different places, Jamaica, cause you can get it from anywhere. Right. But you know, everybody say this is real, this is fake. A lot of them don't even know the difference. Mm -hmm. They try to, you know, it's like a competition. But my purpose is not to compete with anybody. Right. It's to spread awareness mm -hmm. to my people, the community, mm -hmm. to, that they have an alternative to these toxic medicines. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I watch Dr. CB videos, mm -hmm. and I'm not inclined all the way on it right. or scientifically, mm -hmm. but um, I've been learning a lot of stuff about it because it's more than just one kind. Mm -hmm. So when people promote, oh, it's only one kind and this kind, no, all that sea is all seaweed at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You know, sea moss is seaweed, mm -hmm. and all of them have a lot of benefits. Some have more than others, mm -hmm. but you know, I deal with different kinds. Mm -hmm. But I let the people know what I have. Yeah, now, going back to the different kinds, uh, <clears throat> I was actually doing some homework uh, from Dr. CB. Uh, he basically was talking to a class on what CMOS is. Now, CMOS, he basically was breaking it down where you can find it. A lot of people say you get the fake stuff, you get the real stuff, just like you just stated. Now, Dr. CB was basically saying that CMOS comes from the ocean that has the, con the constant or the consistent motion, yeah. you feel me? And um, what made you want to give awareness to what CMOS is to the people? Because a lot of people can keep information to themselves and yeah. say, you know what, shit, I'm gonna keep this beneficial for me. Well, it was given to me from my cousin and I was introduced to a few people. When I, you know, I came home, I had, you know, been through a situation, whatever, mm -hmm. but it was like, um, it was refreshing to me. But as, like to this day, I'm changing my eating habits, rid of all the meats and everything. I'm still on chicken, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to get. I'm about to get rid of that cold turkey. I'm not worrying oh, about no man, fish. Oh man, he's like that. He sent me on like chicken. Oh man, but, talk to me. Hey, I'm it's um, I mean, I'm that type of person. I always let people know information. Mm -hmm. So I'd be selfish not to let people know. Like I, like I said, it's not a competition with me. Right. I'm not gonna talk about this man Seamoss or this man Seamoss. You gotta, at the end of the day, you have to do your own research. Mm -hmm. I can tell you what it is, mm -hmm. but you have to do your own research. Well, like a lot of people, I did my own research. And I'm gonna tell you that, my research was this. You know, I didn't know that we get the plant. The plant gets its nutrients from a rock. Did you know that? I know it grows on the rock. Listen, I this is the words from Dr. C V. Outlet like it's on YouTube. I I even like was shocked at it. He said a lot of people don't understand that 
how a plant, because it's, it's hooked on, it's mm -hmm. attached to a rock. Like if you see some of it, you will see mm -hmm. like when you come, you see how it sits out. Yeah. You will see little like little dark spots, okay. like it's broken off from somewhere, and that's from off the rock. Like the person said, well, that's not real. Right. Oh, because they do lines, they do pools. Mm -hmm. But even the pools, even though it's, if it's not like they talk about synthetic kind and all that, but you gotta know where you're getting it from. All right, so can we get we can get right into it? Like, like this here, this is this is raw. This is the raw. This is the raw form of sea moss after it's been dried. It's dry. It has slight, you know, little little bit of salt on it. And it's not salt that was put on it. People say, oh, you see salt on sea moss. Mm -hmm. It's not real. That's not true. Right. It's not true because it comes from where? The ocean. The ocean. Right. Okay, so come from the ocean, you're going to have some salt on it. Right, you're going to have a lot of things on it. Uh, yeah, but I, I find crab, legs, everything being it because it's coming from the water. And then people quick to say what yours is not and what theirs are. I don't like want to. This ain't about Yeah, that. I want to spread awareness to my folks that this sea moss is life. Right. That's why I came up with the campaign Seamoss for Life, mm -hmm. you know, and I want to make people aware of what's going on. The alternative, a lot of medication that they give us, is in here. Like you, it's a lot. It's a lot of benefits from this stuff here. Seamoss, you can be gold. It can be purple. It's different kinds, but you have to educate yourself and just not like hear one person say this is the light. Right. Because if you if you start looking at different Seamoss, this person here is selling a lot, and this person said they look different. Right. You got a Mario in the Atlantic Ocean, all the Caribbean, Pacific Ocean, Ireland, Canada. It's all around, but it's different types. Well, I look at it like this. As long as it's doing the same thing. Exactly, you because you can't say this is not right and this one is because all of them, do your research, all of them have beneficial values, nutritional beneficial values all around the board, and they similar. So if you say, oh, this is the Seymour's here, mm -hmm. it's better but at the same time, I give you this, this is going to be good for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I already know the kind I've been having has helped my joints. Mm -hmm. And I've had different kinds. Right. The CMOS gold, they call it gold because of the color. Nobody invented the gold. Mm -hmm. It's because of the color. People are trying to claim the gold. Right. It's the color. And what color is this? It look gold to me. When you see it around, the, what color is it? It's gold. Okay. Right. So no, 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 this, no. this is the process here. You yeah, got to get down with this. Yeah. Seamoss for Life is my campaign, mm -hmm. my original campaign. And it's more than just to see, it's, it's, it's a life. It's, it's a way of life. People out here, you don't have to buy Seamoss from me at all. Just get you some. Right. Get you some. It's a different, you know. Now let me ask you this now. Why should people get Seamoss? Because a lot of, we didn't break it down to the minerals. Well, I mean. The minerals that it had. Honestly, scientifically, like you can pull it up, but it's a, it has 92 out of 102 minerals your body is made of. It helps with phlegm, mucus, thyroid problems, inflammation, joint pains, uh, um, diabetes, high blood pressure, weight loss, everything. Like, I'm in the process of coming down. You know, it's, all, it's a process. It's not going to happen overnight. Like I say, my, my cousin, it's only been, what, four days? Mm -hmm. And he see a difference in his water retention. Right. He see a difference in the way he walked. Mm -hmm. But you can't combat it with all this bull crap. You want this stuff to work for you, 100%, you have to change the diet. Right. You have to. What is this? This right it looks here. looks good. i tell you that much. But what is this? I make sea moss drinks. Well, put it like this. Let's go. From this here, you have to clean it. You have to soak it. So wait, just letting y'all know, he's giving y'all the process of how we get this sea When you buy, okay, put it like, when I get my sea moss, I can't come to you and say, oh, here's the sea moss. This huh. is the raw form. Because right. this isn't the raw form. This isn't. This is the second stage. I get mine wet from the ocean, sent in packages, vacuum sealed packages. Fact, so, seen it. so mine come wet out the ocean, sealed back to the house. I open it. So instead of letting them process my stuff, I dry it out through the window or out on the patio in the sun as they do for you before they send it to you and give you that price. So this is the second stage. So in prayer, oh, this is the original CMOS, how it posed it look? No, it's not. It come hydrated. Then this is dehydrated. But once you put this in water, clean it, whatever, soak it 12 to 24 hours, whatever, it's going to expand about three, four times its size. This is a one-ounce bag. This is $10. <coughs> one-ounce bag. 
ten dollars worth of sea moss, a one ounce. Well, you it would turn into these like three ounces, and you can make your gel. <coughs> and this is the gel that it turns into. You you can prefer to have it thick, or you can have it thin. For me, preferably, preferably, I like mine thin. Okay, and with this gel, you can eat it plain like this. <coughs> It don't, the taste is, isn't bad, it's regular, because I got it down to a size where it don't taste like anything. Thanks. And then, you know, I turn that into this. This is one of my drinks. This is a more like a detox, this is, all this is healthy. All my ingredients is natural. I don't add no sugar, only sugar comes from vegetables, well not vegetables, but fruit and, um, fruit, fruit and, you know, fruit. I'm yeah, thinking right. about something else, but just fruit. Right. This right here is a kale, a kale, celery, cucumber, mm. ginger, and lemon. I make that, and they love it. This right here, this is bananas, um, dates, no figs, and what? A, banana fig and pineapple okay. and apple. See, I'll be forgetting most. That's my first time. Now, with this, uh, the gel, for those that don't know, you say you can drink it. And also, a lot of people I've been seeing on Instagram saying that you can put it in your face. You actually yeah, said yeah, it. I you told it me in. first. I, I use mind. it on my skin. Like, and honestly, like, when I when I first see a guy from Chicago, he deals in sea moss. He's, um, you know, he's a vegan. And he put me on. That's where I dealt with guys from Chicago. And okay. they embraced me. Okay. So, I don't need nobody to do nothing. I can go right to the source. source. I mean, I, no now mine is international, okay. but I can just get it. Get it. I don't need nobody else. Right. So, but he gave me my first fifty pounds. Mm -hmm. I paid sea moss. Of sea moss. Yeah, let's definitely. get it. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah. Right. But yeah. I put sea moss. Mm -hmm. That's it. And it's like it's, it's kind of crazy how he gave it to me. He said, yo, I use it on my face, man. He said, I'm telling you, it, look, it feel real good. So I did the, I, I, look, I looked up, and they talk about you doing your skin because it helps with burns, eczema, mm. psoriasis, dermatitis, dandruff, whatever. So I tried it as a mask, as he told me. Mm. And when I tried it, I, laid it, I let it stay on for like 45 minutes. And when I rinsed it off, my skin felt so refreshed, it was crazy. I tell people, man, my face feel like a like I just came out the womb. <laughs> and they like, well, how you know how to come out the womb? So I said, because you know, I have a daughter, and when she came out, she was real soft. But my right, like all of my my face was tight before. Mm -hmm. And that stuff has collagens, right. natural collagen. So why waste fifty dollars on whatever, all these products that you get mm -hmm. with all these names you can't even pronounce? Okay. Well you can get some sea moss and use it on your skin. All right. I have young people who buy this stuff. For their skin. Mm -hmm. Somebody, you know, not just people don't think, oh, I'm, I'm healthy, I don't need sea moss. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Where are you getting your minerals from? Right. Then you said it got 92 of 100. Yeah, but where you get your minerals from? You don't get it, you know, you, but when, when I rinsed it off, like all my skin used to be tight. And like I do like this, I feel like it's real tight, it's loose. Mm -hmm. It's like it feel real nice now. Mm -hmm. And I do it every, every, you know, few days, and some of my family, you know, folks do it. So it, it definitely worked. And I, some girls that work in the shop with me, they try it and they, they can give testimony that this, you know, help their skin. Right, right, right. And, it's, and also, you can Google anything. I'm talking about you can Google it. Yeah, just in case y'all Google CMOS benefits. I, I didn't make this up. This stuff started back 1800s. He, he educated himself. Yeah, he basically I mean, gave I'm not going to listen to somebody just tell me, oh, this is what it does. Right. Sort of, I'm not going to talk about something that don't actually work. Because this actually works. Right. I sell these juices right here for $5. Yeah, he, he, he went right into it. I'm about to get right to the price. $5 for right these juices. Mm -hmm. Sea moss. There's plenty of moss in here. This stuff is good. I mm -hmm. mean, you can follow me. You can go to my Instagram. Instagram is uh, Derek Bullard123. Mm -hmm. uh, D-E-R-R-I-C-K-B-U-L-L-A-R-D-123. Or you can go to my Facebook, Derek Bullard. You'll see me smile like a, like a school kid with his shirt buckled up to the top. That's me. Uh -huh. And, you know, I'll let you in. You can just follow my pages. And you'll see all the juices, how I do it, all the people, live videos that I run up on people, and they buy it. And they surprise how this tastes. This is mine. Mm -hmm. This is nobody's ingredient. This is mine. And it's, and it's good. Amen. How much are these going for? This these week? right here, 
These right here is the raw semen. Yeah, wait, wait, that's not smooth. That no, this is this is raw gel. Yeah, okay, okay. Hundred percent gel, and I also I make my semen with alkaline water. So this is I charge twenty dollars for these right here, sixteen ounces. Mm -hmm. Other people sell them for different prices, but that's dumb. I'm gonna guarantee my stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I said, these are five dollars a piece, twelve ounce. You got about five, four or five ounces of sea moss each one. And I sell these for ten dollars, which is the actual plant that you have to dry. I mean, did you have to soak and clean <clears throat> to make it come to life to make this gel here? That's and, the only way you're gonna do and it. And to get back on the sea moss stuff now, I was watching something now. Uh Dr. C V actually said something and he made me think. He said he was fasting for twelve days. Twelve days. He said the only thing he was drinking or eating was sea moss, um, a salad, and sea moss, and water. He said, that's all I was doing for 12 days. He said, you feel as though everyone should fast for 12 days. You know, and I didn't understand it. I'm going to educate myself more on that. But he made it seem like sea moss is almost a meal replacement. It, it is because, it, it, well, it actually suppresses your appetite. Hmm. So that's a lot. That's another thing it does suppress the appetite for people who are trying to lose weight. Mm -hmm. and they eat so much to suppress the appetite. Like, you know, I got a testimony of the day from a young lady that said that um she noticed her face mm -hmm. like is like going in. But before that, when I went and sold my juices to another young lady, mm -hmm. and she said, you know what, I went to the doc, I lost some weight, and I noticed when I'm eating this mm -hmm. and like sticking to this, my line, my waistline been going down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's what it is. I can't tell you what nobody else, you know, they can tell you they get their own testimonies and right. stuff like that. But it's the truth. And like I say, it's many different types. You'll see the ones in Jamaica, the gracilaria and all that. And they talk about the, the kindness Christmas. That's what Dr. Sabre talk about. But it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot more. Right. It's a lot more. So you can't just be stuck on one kind. You got to educate yourself on other kinds. Now let me ask you this, though. Now by you saying it is a lot more, how do you know it's a lot more? Because I, I researched it. Okay. And I went scientifically to benefit. Some of them have way more iron than others. Mm. You know, but then they tell you this is oh, that's not the one you're supposed to have. Yes, it is, because if this has benefits mm. that you look at and say, this can help me, right. do it. Right, I see what you're saying. I, you ain't got to have exactly the same one because if you actually look and say, this person said this is that kind, and you look down in Jamaica, you see little stringy ones. Mm -hmm. Then they tell you, uh, oh, that's not the right one, this is the right one. Then you talk about Irish moss. Mm -hmm. If you were really to look at Irish moss, Irish moss look different. It looks different, like a little leafy type. Okay. Burgundy looking type thing. Mm -hmm. But it's still, the family is all in the same family. All have benefits. All have benefits, many so you, benefits. You telling me something I didn't even know. I'm gonna be honest with you. I only thought it was just one sea moss. Now, you know, There's I many just different. Like I had the purple sea moss and, you know, I was in the, like I said, all this comes from my cousin introducing it to me. Right. So, you know, he don't like to, you know, his name to be said, so, mm -hmm. and I learned that a long time ago, so I'm not even, <laughs> yeah, I'm right. not even going, like, you know, give him that. Right, but you give him props, that's all. Yeah, I, mean. I give him his props, right. but, you know, a lot of things would be different, but it's what it is. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I'm, it's not a competition. I'm here to spread this information to right. my community and, you know, please stop the violence and all that, you know. Lead your life through sea moss, mm -hmm. with sea moss, sea moss for life. You know, it's going to be a movement because a lot of people actually use this stuff before I even knew about it, right. and they it's a part of everyday life. So, and like with my this right here is about to be a brand. It's a brand name. Already trademarked it. Mm -hmm. So, anybody who drinks sea moss going going love sea moss for life. This is this is a badge <laughs> of honor right here. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is a That's badge right. of honor. So. Right. You know, listen, man. He be going hard for this. We be going hard for this, man. For real, like I be seeing it. Honestly, I see it all the time. You know, he on go. You know, you actually might be talking to him directly. Actually, I believe you are talking to him directly. Yeah. You know, so you and know. like the website will be up soon. Sea Moss for Life website will be up soon, mm -hmm. and y'all can order through there. But as for now, you have to hit me in my DM. But I rather you text me mm -hmm. personally. So I, cause I don't get a chance to go online like that, because I work. I'm also a barber. Cuts at Derek B. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gone? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm actually a barber first, but you know I, I just look yeah, at the that's hustle. That's how you promote yourself, yeah. man. Talk to Cut, it's cuts. It's C U T Z B Y yeah. D E R R I C K B. I mm -hmm. cut it all day before and after barbershop. 
5710 North 5th Street. Uh-huh. Philadelphia PA 19120. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he shot them out too. Yeah, gotta give you know because without them I wouldn't I wouldn't be me. I would you know I got another sec I got a second chance in life. So right. I applied my hustle to this and I like I said I was mad at myself. Mm-hmm. I was telling you folks I was mad at myself because I wasn't I wasn't applying myself like I wanted to. Right. And I and, and I know that's not me. Anybody know me from the streets like I'm a hustler. Mm-hmm. So I gotta take that aspect and apply it. Well, you got to. So every day, this is what it is. This is this. I'm, this this is a now. brand. I don't care what nobody else doing. I want everybody to get their CMOS. I don't care where you get it from. Get your CMOS. Know what you're getting. And like I said, all the CMOS have different benefits, but all the CMOS is actually seaweed, and it has benefits all together. Mm. So it's, it's, you got to do your research. I have this, and I have plenty of it. I have a lot of it. Right. So let me ask you this. But, um, we're going to close it out with this. <clears throat> For those that are interested in creating their own sea moss as far as their own shakes, I mean shakes, their own smoothies, their own gel, and uh, drinks and that sort, do you sell these by themselves? Yes, they, yeah, I'd say they, these are $10 an ounce. Okay. But I, I mean, like, this is a tease. Because right. you're going to drink this, you're going to make this and process it into this, and you're going, it's going to be gone. So you have to get it. Right. Scoop it out. And if you still talking about you have some after a week and it's only this, you ain't, you, you, you're not trying to get into your system because it actually rejuvenates your cells. The immune, the immune system? Yeah, it, it rejuvenates your cells all together. Like, I mean, I can't talk about something that didn't work for me. No, that's facts. It's actually works. Well, I tell you this much. One thing I will say is when I first tasted it, I didn't like it. But when yeah. I also tasted, um, I mean, I wasn't looking for it for the taste. I was looking for it to get rid of my music, mucus. And it got rid of my mucus immediately. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, I was coughing up a storm and... um. I was talking to my mom, Derek, he suggested for me to have some mucus, uh, some mucus, some uh, <laughs> sea moss, and I was like, you know what, what is this going to do? And I was so ecstatic, I was like, you know what, let me talk to my mom, this don't work, you know, and it did work, you know, so um, I just want to <coughs> thank Derek for coming, or Derek, the sea moss man, the you know, sea moss man, you already know sea moss for life, yeah. trademark, you already know how that go, episode 17, the boy Dev Hall, you Did already you know. know, I want to give, um, I want y'all to go out to your herb store. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want y'all to go out to your herb store because, mm-hmm. you know, I go to certain herb stores and I, and, I, and I represent a lot of black businesses. I go out and I promote them because don't wait for somebody to tell you as, you know, we tend to, our race, for some reason, we listen to every other race to tell us what we have to do. I want you to go to the hospital, get checkups. Please do that as you should. So I'm not telling you not to go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Get your checkups. Find out what's wrong with you. And you can find an alternative that's not toxic. Because how many times you taking certain things is leading right to something else? You have to get checkups. Man, a lot of men get a prostate checkup because they think, oh, it means I'm gay if you stick disrespectful. Come on, you got to grow up. You're not growing up. Stop being a grown man and be a growing man. Also, that's another campaign I have. Growing Men United, you have to get a part of that. It's about growing men, men who continue to cultivate their mind because a grown man is stagnated. You have to continue to grow, but I'm gonna tell you about the herb store that I, I deal with, and I'm trying to get his, um, his information right here. You know, he didn't ask me to do it, but I, I feel as though it was proper to do it. You know, help me out and give me a lot of understanding. It's, um, his name is Mr. Tony. His store is a Nutrition and Herb Center. His located his wellness through education is located at 5601 North 10th Street, 10th and Alley, right there on the right hand side. If you, you can call 215-549-6151. 215-549-6151. His name is Tony L. Moore, Urban Nutrition. He can give you a lot of information on herbs when you're going through what you're going through. And you can go there, find an alternative. Like I said, go to the doctor, get your checkups, get your blood test, check them out, get a printout, and work. They got natural herbs to help you. And my phone number, last but not least, I'm the CMOS man. My campaign is CMOS for Life. Live your best life with CMOS. My number is 410-739-5762. The CMOS man. AKA Derek. Get with me. Don't wait. Don't play on the DMs. Text my phone. Tell me what you're calling for. 410-739-5762. So right now you can take and Google 
you can click in Google, sea moss benefits. You're gonna find a, a lot of different benefits. Like I said, there's different sea mosses and all, you know, forget to talk about what's this and what's that, what's better and what's that. It's about your all around health. And I wanna spread this to the communities, our people. Stop the violence, get together, live well, sea moss for life. Well, that's it, the boy Dad Paul, episode 17. I ain't had to see much this episode. Y'all already know how that go.